What's going on? We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC. <laughs> Got a ring to it, right? And uh, doing what we does. Don't forget it, man. And uh, don't forget to catch uh, Boxing 101, Early Morning Grind, our, our daily boxing talk show, every morning, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we're going to continue to keep it moving and keep it rolling. Much blessings to the brothers and the sisters out there. That's holding us down, all right? Um, let's talk about it, okay? Um, Dillian White, Luis Ortiz. Uh, since Luis Ortiz called Dillian White bluff and said, okay, I'll fight you December 22nd, there's been no contracts talk. There's been no negotiations have been had. Um, Cali Enigma is, is close to the Luis Ortiz team. And uh, I trust my brother, the Cali Enigma, all right? And I know Dillian White is trying to really make that Derek Chisora fight happen, all right? He trying to sew up a deal and say, well, you know, we got this deal going on. They're going to find a way to back out of it, okay? One reason I know they're going to back up out of it because it's, it's easy. I don't even know why Dillian White is running his mouth. He going to fight AJ in April, okay? That's just what it is, man. They're not going to risk Dillian White losing to Luis Ortiz. And then people in, in, in the U.K. is going to want to see Ortiz versus AJ, not gonna risk it, cause then again, people say, well, you know, you know, if that happened, Billy, uh, Big Baby Miller can step in. Real Big Baby Miller, Big Baby Miller has says he has no ambitions on fighting outside of the United States and going to the UK, unless he's overcompensated, which they could overcompensate him. Okay, but I doubt it. They're not gonna mess with the church's money. And if you know, um, Dillian White loses to Derek Chisora, they cool with it. They perfectly fine with that. They perfectly putting Dale Boy in there. With Anthony Joshua and packing that up and repacking and repacking and re opening and repacking Dillian White. I mean, uh, Derek Chisora. They UK fans probably still gonna buy it. It won't be the highest number, but they 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 can they they can be able to ride with that. Okay. But I guess Dillian White has lost his pen. He's lost his voice. He haven't had a voice on social media. He ain't said nothing. And that's what most fighters need to do, man. Most of these fighters need to call these dudes snow on the bluff. They need to call their bluff, man. And not to, and, and and that kind of I question certain fighters that don't call other fighters bluff when when they get to talking tough and say, "Okay, I take it." I question them, man, because do you really want it? Okay? And I we cried and, and begged and, and pleaded for certain fighters to call the bluff. You know what I'm saying? Ortiz pulled the trigger against his team's wishes. His team said, "Well, we we don't want you to go over to Ortiz. Like, man, F that, man. You know, I overrule everybody else. Y'all just going to do what I say do. My word is my word. It's biblical to, to you dudes. I employ you dudes, okay? I want to go to the UK, and, and if I lose and I get robbed, that's on me, okay? That's on me, baby. <laughs> yep. You know? That's on me. But, you know, where, where's the pressure from, from uh, the UK channels and the UK boxing fans that keep telling us that, you know, uh, Dillian White is better than Wilder Ortiz. Where 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 is this pin go? And then we come up with this sorry excuse and pillow talk y'all into a, the reason why he didn't fight uh, Luis Ortiz. Y'all gonna believe it, bro? Y'all gonna oh yeah, Ortiz priced himself out, or Ortiz really didn't want to fight. You know, they said he took the contract, but Ortiz didn't sign the contract. And y'all gonna believe anything them lying sob say though? Okay, we know Dillian White is trash, bro. Okay, he trash. He don't have no technique. He got a lot of heart. He got some intangibles, okay? But the tangibles, speed, power, boxing ability, he ain't that good, bro. He ain't that good, dog. And um, and that's just my belief. I, I need to hear him speak on this. You know, I need to hear you know him accept the challenge. It's been two days, I believe. We're going on two days, and I haven't heard a rebuttal from Dillian White. He, go, he goes around here acting like he want to fight Deontay Wilder. He don't. He don't. And I'm not mad at him if he don't want to fight Deontay Wilder right now. Because he got AJ on his plate. Go get that money from AJ. AJ is declining. You can get AJ right now. If you focus, you have a great camp. You go in shape. You go ahead and beat Chisora. You know, you have fought. You have been more active than AJ. You would have fought in December. Then in April, you, you more, you more active. Just, you know, change your diet. Get a strength and conditioning coach. Turn that blubber a little bit into muscle. Work on your technique. If you got to bring another coach in, you got to go to America. And, and, and just to get away from the BS and get another perspective, you do that, homie. I don't hate Dillian White, bro. I respect the hustle. 
But I hate the name dropping in the clout chasing. He the heavyweight Mikey Garcia. I'm not going to have no negative energy, bro. When somebody gave me a comment earlier, they said, oh, people, blacks in the, in the in Britain, the UK, hate hate blacks in America. They feel they fat and lazy and woo, woo, woo. And you hear that about Africans that hate. Hey, bro, you don't even know the struggle with being over here, bro. Y'all couldn't even survive the struggle, but everybody wants an opinion on what we got going over here. But they don't know that they put crack cocaine guns in our neighborhood. They don't know you know, they, they did certain things so we couldn't prosper over here. They have no idea, bro. They on the outside looking in. They don't know the struggle we go through over here. But all the all the Africans, all the UK, all people from Australia, Antarctica, you know, Brazil, China, you know, the entire countries in, in the continent of Africa, all these dudes want to have our style. They want to they want to take the culture of hip hop. I know I'm getting off topic. And they want to adopt it, and they want to use it, but they don't like us. But they like our style. They like our culture and all that, bro. So when you come in here from the UK, and if you black from the UK or whatever it may be, you from Africa, and you say, oh, we 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 saying this about AJ, and they fear AJ, and they fear about Dylan and White, bro. We'll say the same thing about the people we got going over here. It's no fandom, bro. This is real life biz. I'm not going to hold no fighter to no no different standards, and if I do, I will let you know why, and I guarantee you, I have a damn good reason why I'm I'm, I'm giving somebody a pass, and that's rarely, bro. That's a rarity on this channel, bro. I keep it a buck. Nobody's above the criticism, bro. You know, and I'm I'm speaking positive, but Dillian White is acting like a ho ho. He opened his mouth just to keep Eddie Hearn and keep AJ and Matchroom and, and, and Big Baby Miller. They opened their mouth. Just to keep them relevant. Dillian White is, is being used like a Trojan condom, bro. Matter of fact, he a lifestyle condom, bro. He's being used. He's being used as a front man, a hit man, as a mouthpiece to protect AJ and to protect Matchroom's uh, biggest star in AJ, bro. That's what he's doing. He's a joke, bro. And you don't even have to be a joke, bro. You can be a legend. Go be AJ. Gave him a good fight the first time. I feel like you improved way more than he has since that first fight. There's no, it's no need to keep talking. That's how AJ got in trouble with, with Wilder. You know? That's how he got in trouble with Wilder. People forget. Wilder didn't call out AJ. AJ called out Wilder after the Charles Martin fight. AJ and Wilder was like, well, I, you know, I was going to let him, you know, get a few more fights in before, you know, I called him out. Dillian White going down the same path. What nobody think about Dillian White and Luis Ortiz, bro? You know, that shit was dead and gone and before it became relevant. Or this shit, nobody was thinking about that. All we think about, we know White gonna get the AJ fight. We think uh White has improved more than AJ. He can get he can get AJ. You know, if you got if you got a uh if you got a direct path to superstardom. Why do you want to take a rougher path to superstardom? You see what I'm saying? Why do you want to take a rougher path to the riches? If you got the Treasure Island the uh, map to all the uh, gold and, and, and jewels, and you could just walk up to them and, and actually go to the spot and make a couple digs and get the treasure, why not do it? Why do you want to go up you know, Mount Everest and then have to come down the other side and dig up and go for the treasure? That's what it is. You can fight Derek Chazor, then fight AJ. In this situation, you got to fight Luis Ortiz, okay? You know, then... You got to go fight Deontay Wilder for shorter money than you probably get versus AJ. It just don't make no sense. You get a larger pot versus Chazor. And you getting a shot at three bells versus one uh, from AJ to Deontay Wilder, bro. So your mouth got you into something you don't even need to be in. Now you look as a cloud chaser, a name dropper, as a punk. And you earned a lot of people respect in the Joseph Parker fight, bro. A lot of people respected you. And respected you handled your business and you won that fight. You know, off the strength of your ability and not off the strength of the UK and the refs robbing Joseph Parker. People respected that. And all the respect and clout that you did, Bill, is all going down the drain now if you don't pull the trigger on the Ortiz fight. So I ask you, where's your pen, bro? Where's your word, bro? You don't have one. You know, y'all know what it is, bro. You know, that's the UK, bro. And the UK is now looking like Punani, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're looking like a bunch of marks, a bunch of punks, soft like... You know, uh, Charmin tissue with water on it. That's what it is, man. Y'all getting called out. Y'all getting put on the spot. And all your your fighters are pump faking and hiding under rocks. And not to, like, turning off the internet, turning off their phone, acting like they don't see the headlines, man. But y'all know what it is, man. It's the box of... Yeah, oh, I almost said it. 
Good Fellow Sports TV, man. Y'all know what it is. Answered a whole bunch of questions and comments today. I'm going to continue to be on, uh, stay on there. I'm not answering every comment and question. Y'all remember what happened. You know, I told y'all why I wasn't doing that no more a couple months ago. But I, I just want to acknowledge y'all and, and interact with y'all. I'm going to keep doing that. Won't forget about the comments. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to make a donation, the PayPal link is there. Shout out to my real trio brothers in the UK. And shout out to my real brothers. Subscribe to Goodfellas Sports TV. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. We go.